All right, what's going on, everyone? Luke, the Toxic Nintendo fanboy here, coming at you guys with another video. Okay, guys, so there is a problem with the Xbox Series X, unfortunately. Um, it is considered a big issue since this is ruining my gaming experience, at least the online side. So, guys, I have WoW Internet. I made a review for them. Uh, and in that video, I mentioned how I kept getting disconnected. Well, guys, I think it might actually be my Xbox and not the internet. Because last night, I was playing my Nintendo Switch online, and I had no problems at all. I had no problems playing online. I played with my buddy. We played Friday 13. We played just fine together. So, I think it might actually be my Xbox and not my internet. So, as you can see, this is GTA Online I'm playing right now. We're playing some GTA Online. And I'm going to demonstrate uh, how my Xbox will just randomly disconnect from my Wi-Fi and I will get kicked from the game. So I'm just going to get out of my uh, my apartment so I can show you guys. Go, exit apartment. So yeah, guys, this has been going on for quite a while now. And... Um, I just want to say, this is, uh, highly annoying. I don't know why this is happening. Um, I guess this is an issue with the Xbox because, like, I, I was playing my Switch just fine last night. I didn't have any problems playing my Switch last night. Playing online, so, um... Yeah, I'm guessing this is the Xbox. And the reason I think it's the Xbox is because, uh... I watched, um, I watched a video about this guy, and he was having a similar issue, but his Xbox wasn't connecting at all. Like, his Xbox wouldn't even connect. Like, his Xbox would say it was connected to the internet, although it wasn't really connected to the internet, so, um... But I also checked Reddit, and there are a lot of, uh, treads on Reddit saying, like, the exact same shit I'm saying. They'll be playing online, their Xbox disconnects for a split second, then reconnects, uh, but it essentially kicks them out of whatever online game they're playing. So yeah guys, I'm just walking around right now, um, trying to find a vehicle. I'm in passive mode right now because um, this is GTA. And also, if you guys believe that this is probably just GTA being GTA Online, I have actually had a similar issue with a Left 4 Dead because like I was playing Left 4 Dead like a week ago and I got the same message. I got a message on my uh, Xbox saying uh, connection to Xbox Live has been lost. And just like that, I was uh, kicked out of the game. And I was playing online. I was playing online with like two other people. They were in my uh, Left 4 Dead lobby. And everything was good. I was playing. We were having fun. You know, and all of a sudden I was disconnected. And I gotta say, guys, the fact that Microsoft hasn't done anything about this yet is just outrageous. I mean, I know that the Series X had issues and stuff. I mean, all new consoles do, but the thing that pisses me off is the fact that Microsoft is not doing anything about it. They're just ignoring us. Like, this is not an issue. Yeah, as I was saying, like, Microsoft is basically just ignoring us. Like, they're not addressing this issue, and that in itself is a huge problem because, um... Yeah, that, that, that's just not cool because, like, imagine paying $500 for a machine and you can't even use it. I mean, I could play single-player games just fine, but I, I used to have an Xbox One and I had a lot of friends on that thing. And I contacted them with my new Microsoft account and, uh, shit, I want to play with my friends again, man. I want to relive my memories. I want to have fun with them again. And the fact that I can is, is just outrageous. So as you can see, it's running good right now. No disconnection so far, but it's probably going to happen in like the next minute or so. That's usually how long it takes. It usually takes like, um, I think the last time it happened, I think it took like five or so minutes before I got uh, disconnected. But yeah, guys, seriously, this is just outrageous. One explanation that I might be able to give is when I check my uh, Wi-Fi status, it does say that my uh, NAT type is moderate. And I'm, I'm not sure if that might have something to do with it. I mean, I know that when your NAT type is open, that means you don't, you barely experience issues. And uh, I checked on Google, and what it said about when your NAT type is moderate is like you'll be able to play, but you'll have trouble connecting to people who have a lower connection than you. That doesn't really make any sense to me though, because 
How could their connection make minds disconnect? And I know this is not just happening on GTA. It happened to me on Left 4 Dead. And it also happened to me on uh, Dying Light as well. I got um, a thing saying that a user is now offline. And then a minute later it would say Xbox Live enabled. So yeah guys, I know this is definitely not just GTA. It's happening with all my online games. And yeah guys, this is just really, really frustrating. Um, I've tried contacting Microsoft, but I was uh, unable to. But yeah, guys, I guess that's uh, that's one advantage that PS5 has against uh, Series X. I mean, I'm not sure how Sony addresses their issues. I'm sure it's the same as Microsoft. They probably just ignore us because, let's be honest, Sony and Microsoft ignore their customers. Um, I know that Sony also has... Um, Sony PlayStation 5 also has a couple of issues with Wi-Fi, but it is not as bad as it is with, my, uh, with the Series X because, like, this issue is just plain outrageous. Because the fact that Microsoft is not doing anything about it, about this, they're just leaving us in the dark with no explanation, no fix, no update, no nothing. It, it's just really annoying. Shit. Uh, but yeah, guys, like I, I don't know what to say. There it goes. See? And there you go. Connection to Xbox Live is off. Sign into to sign into Xbox Live to play GTA Online. Please return to Grand Theft Auto Five. And there you go, guys. It happened. Just as I expected. Uh, I think it took four or five minutes. So, yeah, that's pretty normal. All right, guys. So, there you go. Just showing you guys that. Um, Microsoft. Um, I don't only talk to the kids when I'm drunk. I don't think. I mean, it gets kind of fuzzy. You are really pathetic, Michael. Pathetic. Yep. But, yeah, Microsoft. Uh, fuck you, Microsoft. Fuck you, Xbox. Fuck this garbage console. I don't know what to say about this, but Microsoft, I, I gotta say, I've just lost a whole lot of respect for you, and yeah, guys, this this is just outrageous. Um, I'm just getting something out right now. Where is it now? Where did I put it? Okay, you know what? Just um, try and see what I can use here. Um, but I'm gonna have to teach this Xbox a lesson. Trying to find my trusty hammer so I could um, see what my Mr. Hammer has to say about this Xbox. But yeah, guys, this this is outrageous. All right, this this is just plain outrageous. I'm not sure what it could be. I mean, this is my network status right now. I'm going to show you guys, but I'm, I don't know what to do. If you guys are having a similar issue, please let me know because although I have seen people on Reddit talk about the same issue, I, I feel like I'm the only one. So here you go, guys. This is my network status. So there you go. So yeah, guys, I don't know what to do, but yeah, fuck Xbox, fuck, fuck Shitbox Series X, fuck Microsoft. This is just outrageous, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I have so many online games now, and now I'm just gonna have to hope that they have good single player because I I can't fucking play online. I can't play online now. I don't want. I don't want to play. I don't want to play single player. Fuck Michael. I don't fuck him and his family. I don't want to fucking play single player of GTA. I want to play. I want to play online. I want to play with my friends. So, yeah, guys, this is just fucking outrageous, and I'm getting really fed up with this shit, but, yeah, guys, uh, thanks so much for watching, uh, let me know if this is happening to you, um, fuck this Xbox, um, let me see if I could find that hammer, maybe I could smash these things in front of you, let me, hold on a sec, guys, I gotta put the camera down for a sec. Alright, guys, so, this is Mr. Hammer. This is Mr. Hammer. I've had this thing for a long time. And Mr. Hammer is used for situations like this. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my hammer. Just going to put it like this and I'm just going to go yank with this. You know, just yeet. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Me and Mr. Hammer have some uh, things to take care of with this Xbox. I'm going to call up Microsoft first. And if they don't fix my problem, then I swear to God, I'm going to smash this thing and I'm going to send it right over to them. And I'm going to be like, try fixing this shit, Microsoft. I still have a warranty, so go ahead, go ahead and fix that shit for me. And I really hope to have some PS5s available on Amazon. Because this this is just pissing me off. I mean, Series X has a lot of cool issues. I mean, a lot, I mean, a lot of cool things, but... I don't think PS5 has this issue. I, I really don't. I, I haven't seen anyone talking about similar issues with this on PS5. The only thing I've seen on PS5 is people's games crashing. 
like on PS5, people will be playing games and they get like an error code or something, and it basically causes their game to crash. Um, but at least they can play online, and I have good internet, so at least PS5 users can play online. I mean, I'd rather have my game crashing than me just not being able to play them at all online. So, yeah, fuck Xbox, fuck Microsoft, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.